You're tuned in to the Brand Ambassador Select Podcast. Welcome back to the Brand Ambassador Select Podcast, where we are showcasing the coolest brands and gifts while featuring movers and makers. I'm your host, Lenore, and instead of throwing away your old shoes, next time think about putting them to good use. The nonprofit Souls for Souls is making it easy to donate your gently used shoes, and all you have to do is find a drop-off location near you or ship them for free. That's really it. They distribute new shoes and even clothing in the U.S. and around the entire world. Their director of operations, Lizzie Swiderski, joins us in this episode to share more about this incredible nonprofit. Lizzie, welcome to the Brand Ambassador Select Podcast. Thank you so much for having me today. So, Souls for Souls, why shoes? Like, where did where was the shoe aspect from this? Sure. Um, so, Souls for Souls has been around since 2006, and our original founder and CEO he was watching the news after a, a recent disaster during that time, and he just saw a lone shoe on the beach, and he's probably like, everyone's probably thinking they need water and food, but what about shoes? People probably need shoes. So that's a, the original idea where it came from. Um, but from there, it's grown into two different parts of our mission, which is to give away new shoes for free. We have a free distribution program, and the second is to collect Gently Used Shoes, which go to our micro-enterprise program. So what's gently used? Because I know everybody may have a different definition. So like my gently used, do I, do I have holes in the bottom? Like That's uh, a the great laces question. all dirty? <laughs> we get that question a lot. And gently used or gently worn just simply means that there's some life left in the shoe. Um, you know, our purpose is to extend the life of a shoe, to give it a second life through our micro-enterprise program. So it has to be rewearable. So no holes in the soles, and we want shoes that are in pretty good condition. Um, so nothing moldy or muddy or mildewy. People are going to be re-wearing these shoes. So it's important for us to them and to our micro-entrepreneurs for them to be in good condition. Any types of shoes or just sneakers? Nope, any type of shoe. So high heels, sneakers, cleats, uh, even flip-flops, sandals. Um, especially right now, I know a lot of people are working from home, so it is the great time to ditch those heels. And um, yeah, yeah, so we take all different types, men's, women's, and children's. So do slippers slash like those, you know, the slipper outdoor shoes? Yeah. Do those, are those considered soles for shoes that I could, I could actually donate? Yes, anything with a hard, like a hard rubber, rubber sole is, uh, is something that we're looking for. Um, you know, obviously like indoor use slippers, the ones that are, are kind of your favorite, we probably can't repurpose those. But the ones, the nice like UGG ones, you maybe like worn outside once or twice. Oh yeah, we will definitely take those. For That's sure. exactly the one I was thinking of, but I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to give those up just yet. Yeah, yeah, like absolutely. I, I may wear those down. <laughs> I do have a couple sneakers that, um, so I do have a couple sneakers. Yeah, I do have a couple sneakers. How, how do I, how do I donate them? Sure, there's a few different ways. You can go onto our zip code locator at soulsforsouls.org and look for your nearest collection box or nearest and closest shoe drive that's ongoing and you can drop off directly to them or um, the DSW locations do collect on their behalf and they usually accept a few pairs at a time so you can go drop off there and actually you can earn reward points too while you're there for donating. Okay. Um, the other option is to ship uh, the shoes through Zappos for Good. That the shipping is completely free. You can ship up uh, to 50 pounds per box, so per shipping label, and you can print off as many shipping labels as you want. All you have to do is go to zapposforgood.com uh, and print off your shipping labels there. I have to say, one of the, the uh, it's not even a highlight, but the coolest thing I think I saw on your website for me personally was the fact that Sometimes I'm gonna I'm gonna like break it right now and say sometimes when you donate, some people don't think that that donations actually go anywhere. Like, where is my money going? Where mm -hmm. are these supplies going? Like, what is it? But I saw that you had a tab called finances on your website that I was right. literally able to pull everything up, and you're like. Don't even ask me questions. Like, it's right there. You can pull up 2020, 2019, 2018, all the financial records. Why did you guys decide to do that? For people like me that ask, where the heck is this going? We love questions like that. So uh, we have four core values, transparency, entrepreneurship, accountability, and meaningful. So it spells out team. And one of our biggest, biggest core values is transparency. We want to be transparent with our donors so you exactly know where your monetary donations are going, where your shoes are going to, who they're helping, who we're helping, who our nonprofit partners are helping, 
who are in-country partners are helping. Um, we have so many different NGOs and nonprofit partners that we work directly with. So we want everyone to be aware of who we're working with and who we're working for. Um, it's something that we really pride ourselves on and it's something that I think every nonprofit or for business is something to improve upon as well. How detailed will I know where my shoes go? Because I know there are some other nonprofits that send you a picture of like, this is the family mm -hmm. that got your donation or this is at least the charity or the donation that got it. Like, how, how in depth do we get? Sure, um, we would love to do that, but by the time your donation arrives to one of our warehouses, it could go to Haiti or Honduras or Guatemala or Transnistria. And Transnistria, just for those who don't know, is near, or is in Moldova, it's near Russia. Thank you. Um, and so yeah, I get that question a lot too. Where's Transnistria? Um, so sometimes when your donation get, comes in, it gets processed. Um, your donation could get split up. So your pair of, one pair of sneakers could go to Haiti or it could go to Tracy in Honduras. So um, really your, your shoes can go anywhere where you work. So you just named a bunch of different locations outside of America. Mm -hmm. Are you actually, uh, some of our donations, helping um, our fellow citizens and community members here in the States? Yes. So um, our free distribution program is actually right now here very much concentra concentrated in the United States of America. Um, since COVID-19 happened, we've seen the homelessness rate uh, rise amongst children in the United States. So currently, there's 1.5 million children in the United States of America that are experiencing homelessness. So we created our For Every Kid program where we are trying to uh, distribute high-end new athletic footwear. So all the shoes that go into our free distribution are brand new shoes that are donated by our corporate and retail partners. So partners like DSW, they donate new product to us and then we're able to distribute to other nonprofits for free. And Lizzie, how did you get involved? Uh, so I am currently the Director of Operations for New Jersey and Philadelphia. I started three and a half years ago as a Regional Donation Center Manager. And I originally got involved because my friend was like, I love Souls for Souls. I love traveling with them. They are an amazing nonprofit. Um, you should go check them out. I know you want to work for nonprofits. So I did and they had a job posting at the time for specifically for New Jersey. And I applied. Um, and they got back to me right away. And then from there, it's been kind of history and uh, it's very much like a big family. So I love working for them. What is something that you learned about um, yourself with working for Souls for Souls over the last couple of years? That's a really great question. I think that the biggest thing I've learned is um, what entrepreneurship means for me and what it looks like and you know, that I am entrepreneurial. I think that word can have such a wide range and a, like a really big connotation. It can seem really scary at times to certain people. Um, but there are, there are ways you can be entrepreneurial without realizing that you're being entrepreneurial. Um, like how? Please tell me. <laughs> um, like, you know, I, I, when I first came on board, I wasn't good at networking. I was terrible at it. I didn't know how to do it. <laughs> um, but Souls for Souls is wonderful because they're like, just go out and do your best. And so they just throw you in the deep end and say, okay, go out, go figure out how to swim. Um, and so, yeah, you quickly figure that out of who you want to network with, how you want to network, um, and how to speak to people, how to talk to people about our mission because our mission is not an easy one to explain. It is, we have two different sides of our mission. So, um, doing that elevator pitch and everything. So, yeah, just putting yourself out there can be really scary at different times, but. Yeah, I think that's always the biggest thing that I've learned is it's not as scary as it seems. So let's break it down. Um, which mission do we want to start with? Sure. Um, let's start with our free distribution because I think that's what everyone is really, really familiar with. Um, so we really help bridge the gap between corporate and retailers who have maybe overstock or new shoes that they're looking to donate. And all those new shoes go to our free distribution program. We work with over 1,200 nonprofit partners here in the United States as well as overseas. And we give those shoes to those nonprofit partners who help us distribute to people in need um, and in times of disaster as well. So we're also known as a second wave disaster relief organization. Um, and then the second branch of our mission is called micro enterprise. I've mentioned it a few times now. And micro enterprise just means small business. 
So all the gently worn shoes or gently used shoes that come through individuals like yourself, or maybe there's a church who's hosting a 25K shoe drive, or even a retailer who has a bunch of returns that they are looking to get rid of, uh, they'll donate their product to us and we are able to help create sustainable jobs in countries like Haiti, Honduras, um, and Guatemala. And there's entrepreneurs there. Most of the time we're working with women entrepreneurs and we help them set up their own small businesses. So they sell the shoes to make an income so they can provide for themselves, for their families, send their kids to school, put food on the table, and also put a roof over their heads. You've named incredible places around the world. Have you been have you been able to visit any of those with your with working for Souls for Souls? I have. Um, one of my first trips uh, with Souls for Souls was actually to Jamaica. That was a free distribution trip, so we were there to help improve a school um, and build some playground equipment and also distribute uh, new shoes around to the different schools around the island. Um, the second place I've been was um, to Arizona where we distributed uh, new shoes and new clothes and jackets um, to a Hopi Indian reservation. So we do domestic and we also do foreign trips. Okay, you just said jackets. So soles for souls, not just shoes? Not just shoes, we do clothes as well. So once again, our clothes for souls program is still fairly new, um, but we work with um, once again, corporate and retailers who will donate new product to us and we will put that into our free distribution program. But people like you can also clean out their closets and also donate their clothes to us now too. And you can do that, um, once again, you can send us your gently worn clothing through Zappos for good. Well, it's spring slash summer cleaning or it's cleaning it all year round. So who knows, like I definitely have a bunch of bags, like laying, garbage bags like laying around. So I can still drop off the clothes um, at some of those donation spots here versus just shipping them in, correct? Yes, um, specifically in New Jersey, we have several different donation sites. Our two major donation sites are in Bordentown, New Jersey, which is in Burlington County, and the other one is in Franklin, New Jersey, which is in Sussex County. Um, and then we also have donation bins located around New Jersey. Now, for those who want to get involved by not just dropping donations off, is there a way that they can do that? Sure. Um, you know, the, the best way to get involved is, number one, hosting a shoe drive, especially if you're looking for community service hours or you're part of a civic group. It's like the easiest way to get involved. It's usually people's first step in getting involved with us, and you can do that wherever you are, whether you're working from home or you're traveling around the, the country. Um, the other way you can also get involved is with our For Every Kid program. Every $20 donated is one pair of shoes we can provide for a child in need. Once again, that's high-end athletic footwear. Um, the other local program we have going on is specifically for New Jersey. So we have a wonderful new fund called Team Up for New Jersey, where every $10 donated is a new pair of shoes we can provide to a local school district in need. Um, we, our next school district will be the Trent Public School District in Mercer County. So if schools like, um, I know growing up a lot of like community events like YMCA groups, you know, just middle school, high school, things like that, they were putting on different clothing and shoe drives. Can that be done at a school level as well? Yes, yeah, yeah. Anyone, whether you're an individual or you're a church or you're working with a group, we have all different types, all different organizations host shoe drives. So, um, right now, we have a 13-year-old. His name is Zachary Miller. He's hosting a 25K shoe drive in Robbinsville, New Jersey. Like 25K as in we're running 25? No. No, 25,000 pairs of shoes okay. he's collecting. It's going to be like, listen, you're going to wear out all the shoes if you're running that long <laughs> or that far. Yes. And when is this one taking place, actually? Um, it's currently ongoing. Um, oh, okay. So yes. it's not like a, you know, specific nope. date. Nope. Um, we have people host shoe drives throughout the year. Some people or some schools host a shoe drive for four to six weeks. Um, some people just do it in one day, which I always find amazing uh, when people collect like about 10,000 pairs of shoes in one day. Yes, we had a karate uh, dojo collect about like 10,000 pairs in one day. Wow. And I thought like the 20 pairs of shoes I have in my closet were wild. That's a lot of shoes. It's a lot of shoes. Yeah. Yeah, we are always in need of gently used shoes, always. We collect all year round. Okay, so what if I do host an event, right? And I got whew, 
10,000 shoes. Like, how do I get them back to you? Yeah, yeah, that's actually a great question. Is there a truck? <laughs> like, do you come with, like, this massive truck that I just dump all the shoes in? Yes. I can't carry that. Um, yes, at that point, we would we would work with you to make sure we, we'd get you a trailer or a truck um, to make sure all your donations would fit onto that truck. Okay. So, yes, yeah. So uh, around, that, around that point, we would probably be willing to help you out, probably around 5,000 pairs, too, if you gave us a call and be like, hey, I have 5,000 pairs of shoes I collected can you guys help me out and I'd be like yeah yeah can you imagine like that's an abundance of amount of shoes so you can head to soulsforsouls.org that's s-o-l-e-s -E the number four s-o-u-l-s dot org to give shoes soulsforsouls.org slash give dash shoes to request new shoes for nonprofit you can go to soulsforsouls.org slash request dash shoes to donate soulsforsouls.org slash four, the letter, then the letter, the number four, yes. for every kid. Um, and this email, New Jersey at soulsforsouls.org, is that contacting you, Lizzie? Yes, that would, be, that would be the main contact for that. So, yeah, there's no one else in New Jersey, so you're just going to be talking to me. Perfect. At least I know who's behind, like, the email address. So now we have a visual it's like, that's Lizzie. Yep, that's me. That's you. You can also check them out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Souls for Souls. Lizzie, thank you so much for really enlightening us on this incredible nonprofit. And now I feel like we know something, a new charity event to either associate ourselves with or honestly just really help the community out overall. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's been great. Now that's a wrap on another episode of the Brand Ambassador Select Podcast. I'm your host, Lenorm. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss one. More at brandambassadorselect.com, and we will see you next time.